so you probably don't recognize my background and that is because I have redone my office which is the room when you first walk into my place on the left hand side that door um, I was trying to use it as like a guest room slash office but it wasn't really big enough to have it be both things and so I completely converted it into just my office I have a lot of my makeup in here my nail polishes I have a crafting storage section so I am just so excited I'm going to give you guys a tour probably within the week so I am super excited about that and I love it it just has a very soft feel and it makes me like want to be in here and stuff but today I am super excited for this video because it is my cleaning and organization routine so a lot of you guys have always asked like how I keep my room so clean how I keep my place so clean so I went ahead and made up a schedule that I have in a $1.99 IKEA frame. I wanted to just laminate it, but I didn't have any of like the laminating stuff at my place. So I have this frame that I was actually going to paint or I don't know what I was going to do with it, but I went ahead and stuck my cleaning schedule in there. So I have my daily cleaning routine, my weekly and my monthly. And then I have some tips that I just wrote on sticky notes on the back that I wanted to make sure that I remembered to tell you guys about. And um, this is for if you have kind of like an entire home to take care of. So like I live alone, so it's my responsibility to keep the guest bathroom and the kitchen and the living room, and the dining room clean and stuff. But you could also make one that is inspired by this, but if you are only responsible for keeping your room clean or if you have chores, if you still live with your parents and they have you, you know, during, doing certain chores, you can incorporate those into the schedule. You don't have to have the same exact schedule. Like I know growing up, my mom always did the dishes, but I was responsible for setting the table. So that would be the type of thing that I would like switch in and out. Um, so I will put a link below to where you guys can either download this or screenshot it or I don't know, or you can just use it as inspiration to create your own. I used, um, what is it? Oh, numbers in the Mac software, but it's basically like Excel, but in Mac form. So um, I use that to create this and I'm so excited to go through it with you guys. And this is something that for me personally, I need to lead like an organized clean life or I go crazy. If things are all disheveled around me and stuff, like I just, I feel like I'm being attacked by my stuff. Like it's just, it's not a good look. The biggest thing for me personally to be able to get through like a cleaning or organization project is to have something else going on as well. I can't just be doing it in silence, especially if it's one that's gonna take like longer than just a few minutes. So I used to have the TV on in the background, but that would always distract me because I'd stand there and start like watching it. And then it would turn into me on the couch with Ben and Jerry, and we would just be hanging out watching TV and my cleaning and organization project was was out the window or where I left it and then um, with music like my playlist always just gets so repetitive because I never know what songs to download and I know that's stupid but after hearing the 5,000th time of Taylor Swift singing about her exes I just I needed something else and you guys know I love Audible and I know so many of you guys are going to be like oh my god Audible we know you love Audible like you don't need to tell us again. Um, but then a lot of you also have been like tweeting me and asking me what book I'm on right now because sometimes I'll like tell you guys what book I'm listening to. So Audible is just an app on your phone that you can go on and download books. And if you go to audible.com slash Blair, you can get your first audiobook downloaded for free. Um, so basically it's literally just an audiobook. Um, and I love listening to these while I'm doing projects. Elle was actually getting a little bit annoyed at me because I was listening to the Maze Runner series when we were on the cruise and she would like want to gossip and talk while we were doing our makeup and I'm like, mm-mm, gotta shut my door. I've got to find out what's happening to Mean Ho. So um, yeah, just wanted to throw it out there. This is probably my holy grail savior of why I'm able to actually get through all the cleaning and stuff. Audible.com slash Blair and you can get a free audiobook during this um, time period of my life. I'm listening to Allegiant, which is the third book in the Divergent series by Veronica Roth and I love it so much. Now I'm just going to go ahead and read this off to you guys because it might be kind of weird just like looking at it while I hold it up. So basically my cleaning schedule daily. So this is what I do every single day. So in the kitchen, unload the dishwasher in the AM and I do that while my coffee's brewing hang up a clean dish towel, spray and wipe down the counters and sink, run dishwasher in the PM, and then it says load dishes as you dirty them, which is one of my tips that I'll tell you later about that kind of goes with that. Wipe down the dining table. 
in my bedroom, make bed AM as soon as you wake up. That's one of my things that I really think is able to keep me on an organized track. I make my bed in the morning and it also makes me not be lazy throughout the day. I kind of have to be productive because like I can't just get back in bed and just lounge around and watch TV and stuff. Um, well, I guess I could, but I don't want to like ruin my already made bed until it's like nighttime. Um, also, organize the top of dresser, 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 what? Dresser, nightstands, and vanity. Fold and hang up clothes. Put away jewelry, shoes, and other accessories. Bathroom, spray and wipe down counters and sinks. Spot clean mirror. Swish toilet and wipe down seat. Living room, tidy up the couch, organize top of coffee table, side tables, and TV stand. Floors, spot clean. So that's just basically like if I drop something on the floor or if I see an area that needs to be vacuumed or swiffered up or something, I'll go ahead and do that like while I'm doing kind of like my nighttime walk around. I'm basically like a guard on night shift. So yeah, I feel very awesome and I should probably have a flashlight with me. And then weekly I have Monday through Sunday and each thing has like one main chore that I do throughout that day. So Monday is clean out refrigerator, freezer, and pantry. And I know cleaning out the refrigerator once a week, you guys are probably going to be like, you're crazy. But I bring home half of my meal pretty much every time I go out to eat, whether no matter like what it is, I'm always like, oh yeah, I'm going to eat that. And then I never do. So by the end of the week, I'd say I probably have five different like take home things of food that I have to throw out. So um, it's clean out refri refrigerator, freezer, and pantry. Tuesday is vacuum and mop floors. So this is like my deep cleaning floor days and I love Tuesdays for that reason, which is really weird. Wednesday, I deep clean the bathrooms, which is my least favorite, but I also feel like I, I'm the most like impressed with myself afterwards. Thursday, wash beds, sheets, do laundry, and deep clean bedroom. If I was to do a load like every single day, I'd literally be washing like one outfit and one pair of pajamas. So I wait until Thursdays and that's my laundry day. And then just deep cleaning the bedroom, you know, everything in there. Friday is deep clean the kitchen. So everything from the stove, the oven, the sink, the disposal. Um, you can actually cut up, I read online, um, if you cut up a lemon and put ice cubes, salt, and the lemon in your disposal. Don't run it or anything, just kind of like stuff it down there. I like to stick it with a spoon because I don't want my fingers to get chopped off if it accidentally, the switch flipped or something. I always think about that. Um, and I guess the lemon acts as some sort of like deodorizer, neutralizer or something, and then the ice and the salt scrub away any like gunkiness that's in there. I don't know how it works, but then you run it after a little while. And um, I actually do think that it works. I've only done it once. I feel like I, and speaking like I'm a pro, but that is a good tip. Um, so yeah, deep clean the kitchen. Saturday is deep clean the living and dining room, which I have this on Saturday because there's not too much to do with that. I pretty much like spray down the dining table and wipe it down and same thing like in the living room and stuff, but Saturday I pretty much feel like I don't have a chore. And then Sunday is the monthly chore. So then I have my monthly chore section. So week one is dust doors, window sills, blinds and trim. So I just do that with one of my like Swiffer, um, what's it called? Like dust buster thingies. And then week two, dust vents and lights. I notice like my light bulbs get so dusty. So I like to dust them at least once a month because otherwise every time I look at it, it just like, I'm like, this is why I have allergies. Week three, wash bed, comforter, and quilt, and also any of like my throw blankets like this, I go ahead and either wash those, or if they're dry clean only, then I kind of see which ones have been used during that month, or um, if I just need to spot clean them. So I go ahead and do that with all of like my blankets, my quilts, my comforters. And then week four is wash bath mats and spot clean area rugs. So that is like my daily, weekly, and monthly chore chart. But then I have some tips for you guys that aren't just like, you know, have a home for everything you own so that you know where it goes when you need to put it back. So the first one I have talked to you guys about before and it is the one minute rule which I have lived by since I was in high school and I still swear by it. Now obviously with all of these rules, there are gonna be some things or some days where the rules don't apply. You know, sometimes that 60 seconds is gonna make a big difference in your day, but for the most part, 60 seconds isn't that big of a deal breaker. So the one minute rule is if something takes less than 60 seconds to do, go ahead, do it, whatever it is. When you walk in the door, if you are used to just taking your shoes off by the door, but it takes less than 60 seconds to go put them in the right space in your closet or wherever you wanna set them neatly, do it. Um, if you take your jacket off 
you know, hang that up, like things like that that take less than 60 seconds. This might sound weird, but for me, a really big one is when I take my K-cups out of my Keurig coffee machine and then I have my Truvia empty packets, I leave them right next to the coffee machine and I have to literally like think every morning, like no, it is going to take less than 60 seconds, it's gonna take less than 10 seconds to pick that up and throw it in the garbage can. I don't know why though, there is some sort of like mental block that I have that does not want me to throw those away. It does not. So yeah, 60 second rule, one minute rule, whatever you want to call it. I have lived by it for years and it really does help keep an organized home. So the next thing is a bin or hamper in the closet. So I have a full size dirty clothes hamper because I had an extra one. So I was like, well, why don't I just put this in my closet? But um, you could even just use like a small bin or basket or anything like that. And that's actually probably better because it can't get too full. But what I use this for is my clean clothes. So I have my dirty clothes hamper or what I call hamster in my bathroom bathroom and so that's where you know all my dirty clothes that need to be washed go but then in my closet I have another hamper that say I try on a shirt and I don't think it looks good and I take it off if I don't have time to hang it back up or if I just don't feel like it right then I'll go ahead and put it in the clean clothes hamster and then every night when I'm doing my whole like nighttime like put away jewelry shoes and other accessories I go ahead and I take whatever is in that bin and I hang it back up if it needs to you know if I take off a scarf and I don't feel like going to the back of my closet and like putting it back through the little holy thing I'll just throw it in that bin because it's like towards the front of my closet and then just deal with that at night so that's definitely one that I have been doing um, since I probably moved to LA, I'd say, I don't think I used to do it in high school, but since I moved to LA, and I definitely love it. And then, okay, this is kind of like, this is gonna sound very like, sentimental and um, like, deep, but there's a point behind it. So the next one is, remember memories are in your heart, not in your items. So this stems from me. You guys know that I lost one of my best friends, Sheridan, um, February of 2012 in a car accident. Every time I go through anything that I purchased with her or I have a memory with her that has to do with it, I refuse to throw it away. And it took until very recently for me to realize that the memories I have are not in that item. Like I remember a very specific time where we went on a Forever 21 shopping spree together and I still have so many of those clothes that I don't wear but I keep them because it's like a memory with her. Things like that I understand why I want to keep them um, and I'm still holding on to them even though I know that you know pretty soon I'm gonna go ahead and you know just kind of shed them because I don't use them anymore I don't wear them and stuff like that and they need to go to someone who is going to enjoy them but I'm probably there's one shirt I'm gonna keep that Sheridan and I we got like the exact same full outfit and um, so I'm gonna keep that outfit but other than that I think I need to start just like not moving on with my life but you guys know what I mean like it's not like my memories with it don't have to do with the eyes. The next one is never have a dirty sink I learned this on a blog that I was reading and I was obsessed with it and I haven't done this for that long it's probably been like two months since I started doing this but it makes such a difference so never have a dirty sink that basically means in your kitchen you know always keep your sink spotless don't let dishes stack up in it that's kind of one of those things that reminds you to load your dishwasher during the day don't wait until the very end because as they start stacking up for me the bigger the stacks get the less I want to tackle them so I have to do it when there's not that much that scares me um, and so I just like to go ahead and do my dishes as soon as I use them now if I'm like cooking and I finish a meal and I want to sit down and eat it before I like clean all the dishes that I've cooked with that's fine but I try to like in that time frame do the dishes and then in the bathroom it helps me keep like my sinks clean and I have the Clorox wipes under my sink and I literally just take them and I wipe down the sink and the countertops and stuff and there's no like hair in the sink or anything like that and it just makes me feel so much better to have like sparkling sinks I don't know why but it's something that I learned and I totally totally agree with it and then the next one is to have a bowl or an area of essentials. So this is where I keep my keys, my wallet. Um, mine is actually right by my front door and I have a bowl on top for like the little things, sunglasses, earphones, the dog leash, stuff like that. But then it has a drawer. It has two drawers actually. But in the top drawer, that's where I put my purse when I walk in the door. So I always know where my purse is. I never have to go like 
digging for my keys or anything. Everything's very organized. And I think having that right when I walk in my door is such a lifesaver. Like, it's incredible. And then the last one is doing a bi-weekly closet clean out. So I mean bi-yearly, whoa, bi-weekly would be a lot of closet cleaning out. I would have nothing left, bi-yearly. So basically at the end of fall, winter, I go ahead and go through everything. And if there's something that's specifically for fall, winter season that I'm not gonna wear in spring and summer, and I did not wear it once during that half of the year, then I get rid of it. No questions asked. The only time I haven't obeyed by that is because of the Sheridan clothes, but I already explained that. Um, so that's like a big thing for me. Or if it's like a special event thing that I had nowhere to wear it to, that's one thing. But if it's just like a shirt or a sweater that I didn't wear in those in that half of the year, then I get rid of it. Same thing at the end of spring, summer, if there's something that I didn't wear and I don't let myself keep clothes based on weight. Like if I outgrow something and I'm like, oh, one day I'll be that skinny again, I'm gonna keep it. I don't let myself because A, I don't think that's very healthy and B, I'm still, I still feel like I'm like a growing woman. I still feel like I'm maturing. Like I definitely think my hips have grown in the past like few years. Like my jeans from high school do not all fit me anymore. Some of them do, but some of them don't. And so I can't hold on to those thinking that it's that I gain weight when really I feel like my body's just still changing and stuff. So that's something for me that is a really big thing. And same with like shoes and accessories and bathing suits, like anything. If I have not worn it in the two seasons that I possibly could wear it, then I'm not going to, unless it's a special occasion thing or something like that. So yeah, that is my cleaning and organization routine and tips and tricks. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so excited to give you a tour of my office. I did a lot of things DIY, like a lot of Ikea hacks and stuff, which I'm really excited about because the things were really inexpensive, but then I made them look like really cool, I think. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. Bye!